Art Pope is not the kind of person who's working out front. He really works behind the scenes. But people need to know more about what he does, and that's why we're trying to bring him out into the light. We're working on exposing this because the people of North Carolina need to understand the impact that this man and his money are having on their lives. In 2010, 75% of all the outside money that came flooding into our state's legislative elections came from groups backed by Art Pope. 80% of those races, his candidates won. And that means that he has control in this legislature. Pope is a director and board chair of his family foundation, which has steered millions of dollars towards a network of organizations in North Carolina and nationwide. Tens of millions of dollars goes to fund think tanks and other groups that relentlessly push a corporate special interest agenda. John Locke Foundation, Civitas, the Pope Center for Higher Education Policy, the uh, North Carolina Institute for Constitutional Law, and Americans for Prosperity North Carolina. And a lot of the positions he's pushing are really outside of where the public stands on the issues. But because he has the money, he can call the shots. Art Pope's network here in North Carolina has promoted an agenda of school privatization. They've really pushed vouchers as well as charter schools. So by bankrolling all these groups, he creates an echo chamber for all of his fringe ideas. As recently as last year, the John Locke Foundation blog called global warming a pseudoscientific fraud. Today, it's more important than ever that people know where the millions of dollars that are flooding into our political system are coming from. And that's why we launched our project last fall to really investigate what was going on with Pope's network. And that's why we're launching this project, artpopeexposed.com.